Hey Gemini, welcome. I hope you're all doing amazing. And I just want you to know that I completely just found this feather on the floor. So it was either stuck in one of my decks, but I'm telling you, when it's meant for you to find, you will definitely find it. I just looked down and seen this feather. All right. It must have been in one of my decks when I wasn't expecting it. Okay. Let's get into your reading. This is going to be, um, we're going to aim for general and we're going to see what comes out. I'm going to make it as personal as possible. I have a couple decks. We're going to do an affirmation at the end for you guys. So always take what resonates. I did obviously miss the new moon that was yesterday, but I'm going to pull a card for the energy that we still exist in. See how it's affecting you, okay? Quick reminder, still giving away those two free personal love readings for the month of June. So we have about two weeks to still take part in it. All you need to do is be a subscriber. I do these giveaways each and every month. So go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in them. And then leave a vacation emoji down below in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine. You know, for the ending part of June. Anything that you feel is vacation that your phone allows you to do with an emoji. Um, at the end of the month, like I do each and every month, I'll randomly choose those people and reach out to you through YouTube. But not this upcoming weekend. Next weekend will be the ending of June. So I will remember, I'll, you know, remind you all to keep your, um, you know, to pay attention to the notifications because two people will be hearing from me. All right. And you already know that this isn't a... Um, personal reading so it's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you so always take what does and then always head over and watch your other placement readings your rising moon and venus sign readings prosperity lies ahead amazing so there is good fortune that lies ahead for you Or my Gemini spirit. For my Gemini's. That's new moon in Taurus. So you may have strong Taurus in your chart. Patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. Something that you might have wanted. And it's not occurring in the time span that you had been expecting it to. Um, you know, always remember that what's truly meant for us will come to us in our perfect, like in divine timing, in perfect timing, when our energy is aligned to receive what we're, what we're aiming for, what we want to come towards us, what we're manifesting. In the meantime, I definitely feel you focusing on your balance, being patient with yourself. A lot of growth within you, Gemini. I'm feeling for my Geminis. What is coming towards them, Spirit, in the near future? This is Heart and Soul Oracle. I got it on Etsy. It's by... Maggie Shailene, M-A-G-G-I-E-S-H-A-L-E-N-E, -E, tarot. A lot of people ask me about my cards. Spiritual awakening. Like I said, I feel like a lot of growth within you. For some of you, it will be a spiritual awakening that you're, you, you're going through. Not just the transformation, but a spiritual awakening. So we will pay attention to repeating numbers. Let's see what we get. And with that feather that popped out, like, literally, I'm in my room, and it was on the floor. Again, I have a box I keep all my feathers in, and I do have some pretty ones. But that just, I don't know how it appeared. Removing fear-based thinking. Sense of feeling complete. Signs from the universe. Awesome. And betrayal. Someone is betraying you 
talking behind your back, not facing you. This could be somebody, a friend, a family member. Like I say, it doesn't always have to be about romantic love. It might be in the betrayal of someone that sparked, you know, an ending or you went through a transformation and a spiritual awakening occurred during that time. But I definitely see that you're on the, the path to something brand new. Inner demons. Yeah, you definitely are coming out on top. You've, you have definitely faced some hardships. Betrayal, fear-based, um, fear-based anxiety. But Spirit's saying, like, be patient with yourself. Switch your attitude to gratitude. Allow these blessings to come towards you. And be completely honest about to, with yourself about what you're manifesting. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. So I do feel a celebration in the future for you, the very near future. I do feel... That in the near future, you're going to be very popular. People are going to be hitting you up, wanting to hang out with you. But I do feel a celebration of some sort coming your way. Your energy is the Hierophant. I do feel what is coming towards you is divinely guided. And it could be a higher level of commitment. But it also could be nurturing those bonds between you, your spirit guides, you and the universe, having that relationship, um, a healthy relationship within yourself, loving yourself. Current situation, closing out of cycles, amazing, amazing. You're closing out what no longer belongs open in your life, what no longer deserves your attention or your thoughts. And you're moving forward. What's helping the situation is the path that you're going to choose. Now look at this. Look at this card. There is blossomed fruit. Flowers on both sides of the tree. You might find yourself at a crossroads in the near future. And needing to make a big decision. But you're going to go down the right path. Another thing I want to point out to you. Is three cards in. We all have, we have all major arcana. So again, you are being divinely guided through this trans transition. Past energy is the Four of Swords. You taking a break. This could be taking a break from someone in your life. You getting the rest that you need and becoming grounded, focusing on yourself, clearing your mind. That's when we receive the most amazing messages from our spirit guides. Yeah, see, you're going to be at a crossroads and needing to make a tough, difficult decision. What you need to embrace is that air energy, that empress energy. You are going to come out on top. You are glowing from the inside out. You have that nurturing energy energy within you that compassionate energy within you and you are being noticed you are shining from the inside out and what you need to let go of is an ending closing out those cycles that do not belong open in your life and allowing this renewal energy to flow through you you're about to start on a brand new path Gemini, we have one, two, three, four, five, five major arcana. So this is coming towards you where you're ready or not. This is divinely guided, this triumph. You've been through some struggle. And you are going to come out on top. The Ten of Cups is at the bottom. Nurturing those connections around you. Feeling emotionally content. For some of you, it's going to be the brand new start 
in a relationship, a romantic relationship. Possible a water sign coming towards you, ready to make a romantic gesture to you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Three of Cups. Could be a celebration with a water sign. All right. You might have to make a decision between two people. We have earth and water energy that have shown up here. And the Empress, look at you. You are glowing in the near future. You're successive, successfully moving forward. But I'm telling you, I do feel needing to make a big decision. When I said you're going to come out on top, you will. You're, what you're moving towards, you feel emotional content. We have 2-2-2 two, two, two here. Something that you might have been closed off to in the, in the past is going to come towards you in the future. But I feel a brand new start also coming towards you. So you may be conflicted. Yes, see? There's somebody from the past that is coming towards you. That's why I'm getting this Three of Cups. You're going to need to make a decision. I'm feeling something that you took a break from in the past is going to resurface. Why is the Empress here twice, Spirit? Why is the Empress here twice? Alright, let me get that. You are definitely being noticed, Gemini. You have gone through some spiritual growth. Possibly, you know, a transformation. For those of you that aren't that spiritual, possibly. It, well, it doesn't really matter if you're that spiritual. You could still go through the spiritual awakening. This could be something brand new that you're embarking on, on your life, on your life's journey. This spiritual awakening. But... Again, it's the growth within yourself that's attracting these energies to you. You have definitely spent some time working on yourself and working on yourself in the near future. Self-love brings in the love that you truly deserve. You found better times ahead. And if you haven't, if you're going through this transformation and these endings now... You're about to travel into better memories ahead for yourself. Peace and harmony. Some of you may need a vacation. Some of you take that vacation if you feel like you need one. All right, Spirit. Well, who is this earth energy that's showing up here? The hermit. Could specifically be a Virgo. Coming in very grounded. For those of you that have strong earth in your chart, this is you becoming very humble within yourself. Being the hostess with the mostest. Having all your ducks aligned and everything in a row. You not needing anyone for anything. What is, why is 222 two, two here, Spirit? Please clarify 222 two, two for Gemini. Please clarify 222 two, two for Gemini. Alright, the star. You making a decision and moving towards wish fulfillment. You are manifesting this growth that's coming towards you. 
and I truly feel for some of you, you already know this connection coming in. You already know this earth sign coming in. But like I said, I have earth energy here and I have water energy, so you may need to make a decision. I have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I even have air energy, so you could be dealing with a fellow air sign also. Needing to make a decision between two possibilities, being at a crossroads. But clearly needing to get out of your head and trusting yourself to make this choice. For some of you, there might be an offer coming in about a job or, um, you know, a, you know, a new job offer, maybe a promotion, someone who's noticing you for all the hard work that you've placed into your, into your work. You may have to pick from a new job, new job offer to the position you're currently in. But I feel that this may be somebody that betrayed you in the past that shows up in the near future. But I got to say, with the transformation that has occurred within you, you may not want what's showing up. You're moving towards what is emotion emotionally makes you feel content. And with the growth that you've been through, Gemini... Truly, I don't know if you're going to accept anything of the past, especially if it was betrayal. You might just hear what they have to say and feel like wish, with wish fulfillment within that. Because now they're returning, asking you to, you know, for a second chance. And you're like, you know what? I'm good. You are the one that caused me this growth. What you, what the actions that you put forth on our path together caused me this growth, and now I'm good. Yeah, see, it says winter waxing crescent. No, let it be. Somebody betrayed you or went silent on you, left you feeling, left you facing like a lot of fear and discontent. Spirit saying, let it be. Like I said, take it for what it is, that clarity that you're going to receive. But for some of you, I do feel a higher level of commitment coming towards you. Your person might be into spell work. You may be into spell work or tarot cards. You may do these for yourself. Trying to figure out what's going to happen in the future for yourself. But I do feel... I, you're closing cycles out. You're moving forward. You're only moving towards things that your heart feels driven towards. You're breaking free. Yeah, you're only moving towards things that are, make you that are heart centered. You're definitely in a powerful energy, Gemini. And I feel there's somebody coming towards you. That is going to have their heart completely open for you. Alright. Let's get an affirmation. And then we are going to pull Scrabble tiles. Look for your initials, guys. In these general readings, look for init your initials. The past is over. Bam. I just said that. This is a new day. One that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. And you can say this to yourself multiple times a day. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. No matter what your situation is, Gemini, always manifest from a place of gratitude. That way you bring nothing but positivity your way. All right, let's get a few Scrabble tiles. D. C, B, I, A, 
F E Y J All right, always let me know how it resonates, Gemini. I will be back for many more readings, but embrace the change that you are going through each and every day. There'll be little bit, little, little changes, but, you know, celebrate each and each and every change that better, like, that has you glowing from the inside out. Small progress, but celebrate each and every moment of success that you transform into. All right, so much love and light, Gemini.